Welcome to the channel, Excellence, where we strive for excellence. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. And we striving to be all we can be. And we doing a good job. I say thanks to everybody who came out for Father's Day and had a good time. And those who are still enjoying their Father's Day. Because like I said before, it's time for us to build our tribe. We all we got. We got to stand upright, independent, and fearless within ourselves. Build our community. Get to know everybody's children in your community. Get to know one another. Learn to love instead of hate. It's an honor to get calls from everybody to notice and say, dang, man, you made a big change. It was times when I was out there spending thousands of dollars. Millions, you might as well say. Yeah, literally millions. In the streets. On foolishness and folly. Not to accomplish nothing. But you had to think of it. All the time while you was doing that. And while I was doing that. People constantly saying. You ain't gonna live to be 21. You ain't gonna live to be 25. You ain't gonna live to be 30. And you constantly seeing those ones doing the same thing you doing, falling off, dying, going to jail, everything. I've been in and out of them dismal crypts many a times. But you gotta look at life. Life ain't nothing but a test. See, with me going in and out of them dismal cribs, I had to pass that test sooner or later. And I thank God for keeping me around. Cause like everybody say, you should have been gone. We don't see how you made it this far, neither do I. But I do. It was the grace of God. See, God kept me around to deliver this message right here today to each and every last one of y'all. The trials and tribulations I have been through, guns put to my head, triggers pulled, bullets not firing, death beyond destruction, I ran around trying to rush up on my own destruction too. But I pray to God that he can give me 60 more years with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to make a difference. Because the 60 years, I made it what it is. Look out here. You see the chaos and the confusion going on in this world? Yeah, I was a part and partial of everything that is, was, and evermore is a part of that bullshit. But see, at some time, you got to do a 360 and turn around and go and undo the things you did. You got to go back. Hey, mama, sister, brother, I'm sorry. Hey, I knew not what I done. Friends, hey, I, I didn't mean to treat y'all that way. And let me show you this unconditional love and stand up within yourself. It's time for you to choose the energy that you want to be around. The friends. Stop being around people that you know just want to argue and fight with you. You want to argue and fight, join crunk. Join, join a boxing team or something, UFC or some shit. Join a wrestling match. But don't come out here and pick fights with innocent people that don't want to fight, that's trying to live in peace and harmony. Because just because we bow down from a fight don't mean we won't whoop your motherfucking ass. We just smart enough to avoid your ignorance. 
But don't never get it twisted. And don't push the envelope too far. See, I had sense enough to go within myself and take chaos and confusion and put them bitches in a cage and put a lock on it. And I let reason and resolution run loose. So don't bump up against the wrong people with chaos and confusion when all they trying to look for is a reason and a resolution. You better try to find the reason and the resolution for you rush up on your own death and destruction. The gifts is in the understanding of everybody you dealing with. And you should understand the spirits that you deal with. I know everybody and everybody that know me know the spirit that they dealing with. They know that spirit. They dealt with that spirit. They dealt with that no matter what I did in the flesh. That spirit still stayed loving, caring, sharing amongst all of my family, friends, and everybody who ever came in contact with me. That's called staying purity at heart. That's keeping that heart pure no matter what. I had no conditions on who would be my friends. I didn't care if you was a drunk. I didn't base on how much money you had and how much material things or what the fuck you could do for me because I didn't need nobody to do nothing for me because I'm too busy doing for myself. See, I'm self-sufficient, independent, And can teach the people like God intended. See, that's a God. You got males that ain't even males. They want to be females. And you got males that want to be men. Males that want to be king. But you got men. You got gods. And you got gods without a contradiction that know they gods. So understand where you stand at in your place. And understand if you know thyself. See, know thyself. Study thyself. When you study thyself and you can stand face to face with the spirits of purity Unconditional love and eternal life. Maybe you can seek that path and reach that destiny. Now, this world, whole world, has been taught wrong. Why? Why is everyone seeking the day that they lay to rest? If you have a mindset that one day I'm going to die, you will. Your thoughts is the cause of it all, but yet they have no cause. But see, as a child, I never agree with nothing that man tried to put upon me because I had to stay within my spirit. That's why my family never got along with me because I was the rebellious one. I didn't want to do what everybody else did. No, I know to do something different. See, unique is what I seek. So I went and bought a Coke 45 and sat down with Billy D. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So I went through life with one mindset. 
And that was to be the best of everything. I don't care what it was. See, I heard Steve Harvey say something one time. He said a teacher asked him to write on a paper what you want to be when you grow up. He said, I want to be on TV. And the teacher waited and, and kept him for last and called him up to the front of the class. And said, what makes you think you're going to be on TV? Anybody in your family ever been on TV? Huh? You see anybody in this school been on TV? You got a stuttering problem. You can't even speak. How long your TV show gonna be? Sit your ass down. You ain't going on TV. That made me think. That made me think. And think back to when I first went to Cerveny Elementary School. And a teacher did the same thing. She asked us all to write down what you want to be when you grow up. Guess what I wrote down on my paper? I wrote down God. I wrote down I want to be God when I grow up. And believe me, when she read that paper... And called me and made me stand up. She embarrassed me so bad. And I cried so hard I never wanted to go to school another day in my life. Never tell nobody what they can and can't be. You don't know. No finite mind can comprehend things infinite. And as long as you see things from a finite point of view, the infinite <laughs> will rise right in front of you. See, God will show you. Because a conscious man know the only way that God speaks to man is through man so man can comprehend. So how else can God speak to you? Unless he come through the form of another man, woman, or child. See, you better pay attention to them spirits. That's why the, in every book you read, it tell you never, never look at the messenger. Listen to the message. Say, my sheep hear my voice. They know who to follow. But man know not by being told. Hmm. So know the difference when people telling you something and people giving you your holy instructions that's coming divinely prepared from the universe. Know your guides and your directors when they come your way. Know the loved ones, your protectors, the ones that come to give you the instructions that you need to fulfill your mission. To get you there. Where you need to go. See, it takes everybody. Everybody that I know. And everybody that subscribed to this channel. To give me the energy. To keep going. See, I don't do this for money. And I don't do this for y'all. I do this for us. For collectively and selectively, all of us. Everybody that subscribed to this channel, y'all know the energy that comes from me that you can add to it can lead us to some of the greatest shit that this world has ever seen. But you have to put aside your differences. See, people, too many people got too many differences. Y'all hung up on too much bullshit. Y'all stuck up on too much stupid, idiotic shit. 
instead of living free. Let the bullshit go and make the real shit happen. See, smart people stay in the book doing dumb shit over and over again. Intelligent people go in the book, get the formula, create the shit and make it work. See, the intelligent motherfucker is the person that can make the shit work. You ain't intelligent if you can't make it work. A lot of people put a lot of things together. Businesses, toys, computers, all type of relationships, everything. But can they make it work? Can you make it work? What works for you? What's making you work? Money? I don't work for money. I ain't got a dime off making nail one of these videos. I spend my money in the community for unity. Your money don't impress me. Money has never, ever impressed me. Never, ever. You can never dingle your dollars in front of me and think you bigger than me or none of that. No, I don't kiss ass to be accepted because you got money and I'm not good at letting nobody kiss my ass. Know that. So I'm not an ass kisser and I'm not good at letting nobody kiss mine either. I'm a real one. 100. I'm not a religious person trying to be holier than thou and thinking I'm better than all of you or none of that shit. I'm a spiritual being having a motherfucking human experience and you motherfucking humans is putting me through some goddamn shit and y'all gonna experience it the way I got it. See, I told you when God came to me and said, I want you to work with me. I say, me? I say, man, I'm in the hood. You see the shit I'm doing? He said, I want you to be good, too. And I want you to change shit, roll up your blunt, come as you are. That's how the fuck I'm coming. Because I ain't sugarcoating nothing to try to please none of y'all. Nobody. Not the deacon, the preacher, the, the, the bride, I ain't none of that shit. I ain't with none of that bullshit. This shit is straight spirit, 100. This shit just like going to the tree. You can go get good fruit, rotten fruit, all that shit. But when you get to the root of thing, it's all and what made the fucking difference. It ain't what's said, it's what's done. A lot of people can say a lot of things in a lot of ways. It's not what you say to the universe. It's the energy you put out that can connect to the hearts of everybody. Know the difference. Now, when you know who you are, stand up and know who you are and study yourselves and know yourself and live for who you are. Stop trying to please these motherfuckers around you. They don't give a fuck about you. All they want you to do is buy some, spend some money on them. And half of them, all they want you to do is buy them some damn dope. See, you got two choices. You can be with a motherfucker that's going to give you some dope. Or you can be with a real one that's going to give you some hope. See, E-40 say everybody got choices. You can choose hope or dope. Hey, hey, hey. what's going in your nose? Is that where your money goes? 
Do your money go on in your nose or on your clothes? Because no matter when you step out in the world, it's going to show. Character speak for itself. See, either you're going to be the eye candy or you're going to use the nose candy. <laughs> but use your mouth because it's more handy. I came to y'all in love. I'll leave y'all in peace. I'm out of here.